Okay, this is going to be a review of the Maxpedition Vesper Messenger Bike. This bike is a cracking wee option for uh, people who want to commute, cycling to work, and for businessmen. Now, I've had this bike for a couple of months, and I've been testing this in my capacity cycling to work. I was using this for a day bag just for work. Um, but I have had uh, quite a bit of experience with this, comparing it to other bags on the market and by the time I give you a review of it. So let's just go on the outside. First of all, what you will notice is a quite a big Velcro patch on the front and that there's going to be for your morale patches. And it looks really well having sort of your morale patches decked out on there. Now you guys who may be affiliated with different companies, maybe different police services, fire and rescue, whatever, no uh, harm putting your, your logo on there if you wish, or other companies. Get your logo on a morale patch, get it stuck there. On top you notice we've got the Maxpedition logo there, so immediately signifying good quality in a bag. And you've got a couple of wee uh, fast hex buckles just here and here to get access into the main bag, but we'll cover them later on. On the front, we've got a nice big zip. It's actually a double zip on it. So if you're carrying this on your left or right side, there's no issue with opening on either side. And then there you have a nice big area, ample room to put folders, documents, uh, clothing, whatever you can put. You know, sometimes I would uh, bring my shirts for work, stuff it in there, it's fine. More often than not, I put stuff in there that I want to get to really quickly. So uh, I've got a really good coffee mug, put that in there headphones, stuff like that there, books, fire them all in there and uh, it's very quick to get at. Very high end quality zippers. On the top you'll see the box stitching which is very typical with Maxpedition products. It's again indicating the high end quality build on that. And if I try and squeeze that on the stitching it's very very hard to do. And so we've got a two inch strap here and then it goes folded over into a one inch strap and that's a very strong carry handle. So more often than not when I'm going out the door I just grab it by the carry handle and off I go. On the side is a quite a nice wee feature which is sort of extending from the lid and it's these wee flaps they look a bit like you know like shoulder pads and so they come over on both sides and what they do is if you are caught in the rain and they've got important things in there like your laptop or whatever this is going to help beat off any rain and direct it away from your bag obviously this is not a waterproof bag but Maxpedition pride themselves on their 1000 denier uh, ballistic nylon they use on their bags as triple coated polyurethane so basically what happens in a shower and I've had Maxpedition products in the rain hear that on the bag, the water just beads up and runs off. Now, obviously it's not waterproof because you can see the zips, but if you're in an old shower, your contents inside are going to be quite dry. So obviously if it's absolutely pouring down, invest in a small rucksack cover just to cover that up and you'll be glad you did. Moving around to the side, you've got some molly straps. So you can molly attach anything you want to here, be it an extra pouch, be it a water flask, or whatever you want, you can attach it onto here. What I've actually attached onto there and used this was carrying a multi-tool. Very handy having a multi-tool on the bike. So I just fed this through and then that hung there. It was black on black, so it blended in nicely, so it didn't freak anybody out them seeing a possible multi-tool on the, on the side of the bag. We've got some very nice molly webbing on that side and on the other side. So you can attach more if you wish. Personally, I like to keep the outside of the bags quite clean. Just looks nicer in my opinion. But uh, what you can do is say, get a water bottle. One of the Maxpedition water bottles, uh, the holders, will fit onto that very nicely. It means you can have some water stored with you and you're keeping your main part of your bag quite empty. Before we get to the carry system, just on the back, again, we've got double zippers and a 
very generous pocket inside and it has got the usual black on black but you can see there the velcro and again what that is for it's for the people who can and uh, who do in the states concealed carry you can get one of the max Expedition universal holsters we sell them on our website too and just stick that in there and you can easily carry a full size pistol and a magazine or an extra magazine or whatever you wish if there's something else you want to put in there that's grand stick on there what I usually do is I just carry my iPad in its cover and I slip it in there reason for being that I do that is if it's in the front and I'm distracted someone possibly will be able to get that open stick their hand in there and lift whatever out but having that concealed carry section in the back stick your iPad in there any other maybe important documentation in there and very few people will notice that zip also here you have more velcro webbing and that you can put that there for your uh, name tape you can put that in there and a nice chunky padded area and what again that's for is if you're using this as a carry-on bag and you're maybe checking in a bag that what you can do is your uh, handle on your suitcase just will sit in there and have a ride on top of your suitcase so you can pull all over and not worry about this falling off your suitcase so that's that going on the carry system okay we've got a nice thick strap and you'll see the molly attachments down the side now I thought what am I going to actually use this for because there's only you know one connector each but what you can do is if you have any sort of bicycle lights you can put some maybe red bicycle lights just click them in to each individual strap so whatever side's hanging on your back to be more visible or on the front there's some of the small uh, camcorders that we sell on our website you could get one of them and put them on the front and if again if you're commuting and use that there to record your journey in case there's any incidents or if you just want to, to record some some footage you can do that now what I've used this for you've got a very nice strap for your top you can see that sort of leather to help that stay in position you've got a couple of adjustment points here nice big thick thing again with the box stitching very very strong velcro and what I do is uh, when I adjusted this this one here I actually put one of the straps through there through the molly webbing and velcroed that on and what that allowed is that strap now is not going to move so it's set for where I like it where it was comfortable for me and then all I do is flick it on and the strap rides on my shoulder exactly where I want it not having to adjust it, it's not slipping, not having to keep yanking it to get into the right area it just sits there all day every day no problems so I've got the bag over our shoulder and again very easy for just maybe carrying it on your side left or right carry there's no issue you can just stick it on no problems so putting it over on my left I usually carry stuff over my left shoulder over my uh, right shoulder having like this again all fine having your bag there that is fine I'm going to flick it over to the other side fine no problems at all okay very comfortable for me having it on my left side and what you can do is you've got strap here and just put it over around your side click it in some fast text buckles and then you can adjust it so that has now stayed there and that will not move you can see how that carries now you can shorten the straps or lengthen the straps depending how high or low you want to carry this personally I don't like it lower than my bum if I'm on the bike so having it a bit higher up clicked in there it will not move so having that on the bike you don't want to run the risk of your backpack or your passenger bag flinging around and causing an unbalance on the bike especially if you're carrying a load in it 
So to be honest, it's doing that there, it's fine. Bit of an extra security feature as well. Someone tries to yank the bag off you, you've got that extra strap there so you don't have to worry about the um, person getting off of your bag. So let's change the camera angle. Let's get this off and show you the inside compartment. Okay, so let's get into the inside. As I said earlier on, you've got your fast text buckles, two of them. So you can unclip them and again, you just leave them hanging. And then you've got nice strong bits of Velcro. So you can not have to worry about somebody unclipping them. If you're having the bag beside you, maybe you're having a sleep on the train, in college, whatever. You've got the bag sitting beside you. Nobody can undo them, get the inside of your bag without you knowing. So you can undo that. Flick that out of the way. And you can see on the front here what we've got. Some nice compartments here. Very, very generous. Again, open the Velcro. And you can stick like so PDA in there, portable hard drives in there, MP3 player in there, no problem at all. Couple of pen compartments. Another compartment the exact same as this. I just keep one of the Maxpedition right in the rain pads in there. Very handy to have. And on this side, you've got some like credit card, business card type slots. And uh, so you can use that for whatever storage you wish. And on the bottom you've a wee mesh one, wee mesh compartment, and then there just keeps some stamps and things like that there. Also, as a wee tip, if you are going to use this bag with that Velcro, then you've got these wee covers, like bits of Velcro that go on the actual lid, that so you can use it without. So very easily just put them back on. And then obviously it won't stick. Now, what I did is just took them off because I wanted the extra bit of Velcro and just stuffed them in that zip compartment so they stay with the bag. Okay. Moving on, you have a nice wee uh, keeper there if you wish to attach keys, you want to attach ID, whatever you wish, you can put that on there. And that leads to a nice compartment. On the inside, just here, so that's your first sort of compartment. It's a decent size, stuff whatever you wish in there, guys. It's not zippered up, so just be careful about what you are going to stuff in there. But you've got that. Your next one is a zippered compartment, and again, it runs the full length of the bag, nice and deep. So that's your, your next compartment. I typically carry stuff in there like sort of wallet, um, first aid kits, things things like that there that I don't want falling out easily. Um, books, stuff like that there, just put them in there and that will do fine. Then your main compartment is extremely generous and what I'll do to save me I'm trying to get all the specs for you, I'll look in the description box for all the specs of the size of the bag and the cubic area you've got inside it. But you've got a really nice generous section there in the front to again put whatever you want, put a change of clothes in there, put your documents in there, folders, stuff like that there, lever arch files will fit in there no problem. You'll probably get two in there to be honest. And in the back, covering this area, we'll just go over this in one wee second. It's held this part is held in by Velcro. So it can pop out, but in between that, you've got sections that you can maybe put a bottle of water, stuff a bottle of water down maybe each side, an umbrella, whatever. If you if you're keeping this um, Velcro section in, you've got three areas here, here, and in the middle. If you want to carry other things, and what this is held in by very very strong Velcro is your laptop bag. Okay, this will hold a 15 inch laptop. So very very nice, double YKK zippers again. Paddle on the inside, nice area for holding a laptop. 
On the front, they've got some compartments for documentation. So they aren't zippered, but just if you want to have, put a notebook or something in there, that will fit very, very easily. And again, down here you've got some uh, areas if you want to put business cards or maybe credit cards, whatever you wish, um, put them there on the back of two Velcro points. Now, if you don't want to carry your laptop with you, that's fine, rip that out. That just makes the inside of your bag completely free and you can carry whatever you wish in there. And that is a lot of room to fill up. I've had this bag packed out a lot. Typically if I have my work clothes with me, I might have to bring a spare change of clothes depending on what I'm doing after work or whatever. But spare change of clothes can go in there. Bicycle repair kit goes in there. First aid kit goes in there. There's food, there's drinks, there's all sorts goes in that bag. And because of the quality and the stitching of Max Edition, you can afford to pack the bag out a lot and then get it hooked over and then into, um, into the car and wherever you're going. Okay, so there you go, that is the Max Edition uh, bag for this, their messenger bag. Check out uh, tiny.com for other Max Edition messenger bags. This is the Vesper bag and there is other ones available so please check out maxpedition.com. Just to give you an idea of currently what um, we're stocking as in colours for this bag, subject to change. We've got in black with foliage, khaki, a khaki foliage mix and OD green. So all of them look very very nice. Also I'll put the link on, in the description box so to buy this and um, you can get an order in with us for that. So there you go, lovely bag, highly recommended. Maxpedition gear always has a place in my heart. Very, very nice quality gear. You do get what you pay for. It is high-end gear, but guys, this is gonna last you an absolute lifetime. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more other videos. And feel free to put any questions down in the comments section and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.